rotten, reanimated, and ravenous for humans. The dead are rising from their graves. The whole world is in a frenzy. The infections are spreading fast, and it's overwhelming our defense. Here's how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Zombies have swarmed folklore and pop culture all throughout history. They're often depicted as insatiable, reanimated corpses or infected people spreading a deadly virus. Either way, they're never in a good mood to come back from the dead and they've got a craving for fresh human flesh. What should you do if you're surrounded by zombies? Do you stay put? Do you get out as soon as possible? Here's a few tips that might save your skin and your brains. Step one, run. Hunkering down in a city might look like a good idea. You can live in the fanciest buildings. It won't be hard to find supplies and you'll have access to loads and loads of food. That's what I'm talking about. But food and supplies aren't the only things you'll be swimming in. Soon enough, you could be surrounded by thousands of zombies. A study by the University of Leicester theorized that in about 100 days, humankind would fall to the apocalypse. There would be less than 300 human survivors, and the zombies would outnumber us a million to one. So get out of the city and as far away from populated areas as humanly possible. From what movies have told us, zombies are terrible swimmers. Finding refuge on a boat would be your safest bet to get away from zombies. And whatever you do, don't head straight to the gun store once the news breaks out. Sure, it may seem like a good idea to defend yourself, but tons of panicking people scrambling to arm themselves doesn't make for a good situation. In a stressful situation like this, there's bound to be friendly fire and a number of misfires. You're hurrying to get out of town, but there aren't any bodies of water nearby. Where should you go now? Run to the hills. Step two, zombie-proof your safe house. Unfortunately, you're stuck on land where the zombies have a better chance of having you for dinner. The next best place to go are hilly, mountainous regions. Hopefully, you won't run into a pack of zombies that were hikers in their past lives. Most zombies will have a hard time wrapping their heads, or lack of a head, around unstable terrain. Once you've found an elevated spot, you'll want to find a building made of concrete, brick, or metal. Anything weaker, like wood, drywall, or glass, could easily be torn down by a horde of zombies. Fortify all of the entryways, barricade the doors with furniture, board up the windows, and block off your fireplace. Santa won't be paying you a visit this year. It could be a hungry ghoul coming down your chimney. All is quiet. The final board is nailed in. Ah, you're safe to breathe a sigh of relief. But you can't hide here forever. You're going to have to head out and gather some food and supplies. Get ready. Step three, suit up. Fashion a suit of armor out of anything you can find. Hockey pads, gloves, Oh, and a helmet to protect your brains. After all, it's better to look weird and be safe than be zombie chow. Likewise, arm yourself with anything you can find to protect yourself. When in doubt, always stay away and avoid fighting the zombies. You should only use your weapons if they get a little too close for comfort. Step four, gather the essentials. Don't drive to the supermarket. The loud noise could alert the zombies to you. Again, you're going to want to avoid densely populated areas, so your trip to the store doesn't turn into a bloody one. Gather enough bottled water and non-perishable items, like canned foods, to last you a minimum of a few weeks. Stock up on important medications, first aid supplies, and emergency supplies such as batteries, a cell phone, and a radio. Look for warm clothes and bedding to keep you comfortable too. It might get a little chilly if there's no one around to keep the electricity and heating running. 
you're done gathering the supplies, but there are a lot more zombies outside than when you first arrived. There's nowhere to go. You're going to have to get up close and personal with these ankle biters. Step 5. Mask your scent. You might be able to handle one or two zombies, but there are way too many out there to fight. Try to hide until they leave, or create a distraction. But if all else fails, you're going to have to stroll with the walking dead. You're going to have to smell like them too. Camouflaging yourself in zombie flesh or guts could mask your smell from the zombies, letting you walk right past them. Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Researchers at Doan College in Nebraska even concocted a perfume to help camouflage against zombies. They call it Eau de Death. Ah, how romantic. It uses two chemical compounds that a decomposing body produces, putrescine and cadaverine. The result, well, smells like rotting flesh. Maybe we could just arm ourselves with bottles of Eau de Death in a zombie apocalypse. You made it out bite free. Now, let's wash off these zombie guts. While hordes of hungry zombies might seem far-fetched, there are lots of other things in the world that could eat us. How would you deal with a piranha feeding frenzy? Don't worry, we have just the video to help on how to survive. So like and subscribe for more survival tips.